morning everyone happy a 2019 day today marks the release of the a 2019 community edition I wanted to put together a quick video to demonstrate some of the new functionality of a 2019 and just show a bot that I built real quick this morning um, this bot in particular is designed to read from an RSS feed uh, parse through the XML response of that RSS feed and then uh, build an RSS reader HTML page that we can view so it's just kind of a fun way to be able to read from a source of data and then build some HTML on the output. If we look at the way this is set up, I have my design view here set up in dual mode. So we have the flow on the left and all of my commands uh, detailed out as a list on the right hand side. This is how I like to, to set it up when I'm doing my development just so I can kind of see exactly the order of operations. The other thing I really like about A2019 is this step capability. And so with steps, I can kind of group together a bunch of my actions so that I can kind of hide them. And they look good for my flow view here, but I don't necessarily have to show them at all times. And so if we look at my first step here, we're going to read from the RSS feed. If I click on this arrow here, I can open that up to see exactly which actions that contains. So we're going to uh, read from that RSS feed. And then I'm going to close this one up. We're going to actually build our HTML. And so in this section, we're going to go through and grab the top 30 articles from that RSS feed. For each one of those, we're going to get the title. We're going to get the description. We're going to get the publication date. We're going to get the URL and the image URL. Now, not all of them actually have an image URL. So we're using one of the new error handlers for A2019, which is a try catch command. And with this, I can say, hey, look, I'm going to try to get this image URL if this particular article doesn't have an image URL, then in my catch, I'm going to fill in what should be the dummy placeholder. Uh, and in my case, I'm just going to have the article title highlighted in a different way uh, in case there's not an image for that particular article. Regardless, we're going to come down here and uh, make some modifications to our date. And then we're actually going to do a log to file, which is going to create each of the cards within our page that we're going to ultimately create and then we'll add all the closing tags for the body and things like that in this final log to file down here and then we'll open up that RSS reader so I'm gonna play this or run it um, this is going to send the task to my workstation here and so we'll see that pop up here in a second in the bottom right hand corner similar to previous versions of automation anywhere it's gonna show me exactly what step it's working on with the progress bar and things like that So there it brought up the RSS feed. This was an old wired window I had open. So it's going through, it looped through all of those different articles to build my page here, which is my Automation Anywhere RSS reader that I built. So this has each article. For each article, we have an image. For each article, we have a title. We have a brief description of that article. We have the publication date, and then we also have a link to uh, the actual article itself. And so we grab the top 30 of those, so we should have 10 rows here. Um, but anyway, just a quick demo on something you can do with A2019. Uh, interested to see what everyone else is building for this first day of the release. Uh, feel free to reply and comment on what you've been working on.